and we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to add a blur. You can add a blur to photos and to objects. Let me copy that photo press and control D. And I'll show you the first method, which only works on photos, good extensions, raster, and there's a simple blur function. Just click on the live preview and then play around with the radius and the sigma. If your sigma is too small, the radius doesn't really make a difference. So you can see that if I've got it to one or two for sigma and I go very high for the radius, there is not much of a blur. And you can crank the sigma up very high, for example here to 100 where it's totally blurry. Got something that you like, just apply it. And you can add this effect time and time again. So you can add a blur on top of the blur if you want to. Let me create a simple vector object, like a circle. And if I now use this extension, raster blur, you can see that absolutely nothing happens. So this extension is only meant to be used on images. If you've got a vector object, you need to use a filter, for example, this simple blur filter. And if I check the live preview, you can directly see the vector circle is blurred horizontally or vertically. There are other options, for example, a feather blur, so that feathers are the edges. Lots of options here. And we can also use this filter on images. So right now I've got this PNG image and I can use the same blur. But make sure that for the most part you've got this box checked where it says blur content only. Otherwise you'll have the edges of your image blurred as well. So most of the time you don't want that. And this is how you can add a blur in Inkscape. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.